Hello everyone! It's a great honor to be here again. It's indeed a privilege to speak in the second MAUD conference. Thank you everyone, thank you our community, thank you our Brazilian community, and a special thank you for Ruth, our project leader, uh, and her, her br brilliant uh, leadership. Thank you Ake for his spectacular podcast and a special thank you too for all web mechanic folks who has developed a, a great pro a great uh, plugin the new one uh, the new email builder with grape.js just for mark 3 so and i would like to to give a message uh, we will share at the end of this presentation a couple of sqls ready sqls you just need to copy and paste in your BI software. So if you would like to download, just uh, watch this presentation until the end. And well, I'm Rodrigo Demetrio. I'm PowerChick founder. So, and PowerChick is specialized in market hosting, market consultants, and market station with plugins, themes, and if you need some things, just let let me know. So I'm going to show a MetaBase. MetaBase is an incredible software. And the first question is why should we use MetaBase instead of Mark Reports? And the first answer is because MetaBase is extraordinary. It's a fantastic software. So it's intuitive. You can click, drag and drop, and you have many options to, to customize your dashboard. And the first one is because it's beautiful. You know, if you want to show a really professional dashboard to your level or your customer in case you are an agency. So MetaBase is great. Né? Uh, here are a couple of example with many colors and many different types of charts with uh, area, bars, lines, and training, comparison, colors if well and you can create filters it's fantastic the second it's because metabase is faster than Mauriki when we talk about it and uh, when we talk about bringing the data and uh, we know when we have more for example the 500,000 more than 1 million it takes a long time to pull the data so metabase uh, engine it's faster than Mauric. and the third is because it's fun you know when you need to navigate through the data even no tech people no tech person they can access they can navigate they can create future uh, it's fantastic you know and and now i created a, a simple dashboard pulling the data from our Mauric, Portic Mauric. So, and as you can see, you can create a summarize with many kind of situation. If you would like to access this demo, uh, you can just scan this QR code or access this, uh, this URL, and then you can navigate while we, while this uh, presentation. So, uh, a moment for a a controversy because I think it's not more attribution to create dashboard. Sorry if you use, I know it works and sometimes works well, but I think we have more possibilities and we can use a real uh, dashboard creator, a real BI uh, platform. And because, uh, and because marketing analytics is not like a lake stuck you know you don't need to think your data like stuck in a lake and i don't like this comparison like data in a lake uh, if i had to compare mark data marketing automation data with something like that i would compare with a river with a rapid and a really a really rapid a really uh, fast like here this river here it's in brazil and as you can see this river has many 
many source of water. It's like, you know, our mar marketing analytics today, pulling data from Facebook, pulling data from Google Analytics and pulling data from many sort of source. So it's not like a lake, you know, it, it, you, you can feel, you know, the rhythm, you, you can feel the intensity of data coming. So the data is changing all the time and Mauri changing all the time. It, you, you can see the volume of information. So for me, marketing analytics, it's about that. It's a, a, a platform where we can bring many different data sources. Yeah, this video, this video is, is pretty cool. This river is here in Brazil, Cataratas. So, but let's move on and let's talk about marketing analytics, marketing analytics. And why I'm talking about marketing analytics, because because MetaBase it's in inside this area, marketing anal analytics, but marketing analytics is much bigger than just MetaBase, you know, MetaBase is just a way how to generate dashboards, uh, pulling the data directly from your database. So we know there are many other solutions like Tableau, Click, Power BI, and many other solutions. So if you are using one of these solutions, probably it's better you keep this solution. And but of course, there are you know many uh, commercial things about that. I'm just suggesting MetaBasic as a, an alternative in case you don't have any one of these solutions, or in case you are creating a new business model or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so these are the most famous solutions I know. I've used Data Studio, I've used uh, Clipfolio, Scythe, Databox, Power BI a little bit. And all these tools are great. I like too much of Clipfolio. They have many connectors like pulling data from Google Analytics, from Facebook. And we have MetaBase as open source and we have Kibana too, but Kibana, it's more, I think, for monitor your infrastructure, things like that. I think it's not so intuitive like MetaBase. And, and now let's get our hands dirty. Let's open uh metabase interface and let's show what metabase can do connecting to Mautic. so i'm here i'm already and uh, this presentation we will not cover metabase installation so we will start from our ready metabase and here we have the first section here it's when we 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 pin a dashboard so it's a, a shortcut to a dashboard. This sec second section, it's to access all our, our items. And the third section, it's the database. We have a couple of database connected. All of them are, are Mautics. And so after we connected our Mautic to metabase we can navigate through the tables and first you have to understand uh, what are the most famous uh, what are the most used uh, tables and the first it's the leads table because uh, leads it's the contact the contacts table so we can click here and navigate through all the contacts and it's it's easy to, to navigate as you can see and here it's showing all the columns all the fields because when we create a field in Mautic a custom field uh, Mautic creates a column in in the table so here we can see all the all the columns here we can create a couple of filters. Uh, we can change our visualization. For example, if we decide 
just select a couple of columns like yeah i don't need to access this column just so you can remove it and create a single view for example just with email column or whatever column you want so you can click here remove remove and just create a simple visualization with the data you want um you can filter this is great because it's like mark segment but with more with more options because you can combine tables and things like that uh, for example uh, there is one kind of filter i like i like it date identified let me filter here date identify it's when the lead it's a uh, register when lead fills out the form so after that put the date so i would like to get just the previous 30 days and include it today so as you can see the uh, metabase it, it's full of uh, shortcuts to to become our life easier you know to bring the data another part that i like too much it's the summarize <clears throat> because you can for example if you decide to create a report in Mautic, for example, I'd like to see how many contacts we we had per month, per day, per quarter. It's not so easy. So here we can create, for example, date identify by month. And we already have one data. For example, we got in 2017, 2000 then we can navigate navigate through the data and as you can see it's so easy to create and change for example here by month by day and boom it's done we have a report how many leads we got per day per month so that's it's pretty easy and uh, and you can still combine with other other filters here you know it's just so and this table we can change to other kind of visualization like this i will put back i will change the visualization here for bar for example and here we have many different situations like we can create a line a, a bar and we have settings here and for example we can put a goal line for example it's our target is our goal uh, more than than 300 let's say it's 300 so it will appear here uh, a dashed line with our goal value and the label the trend line is it's a good one because it shows if this number it's going up or going down it's great show values on on data points well ever ever kind of visualization visualization you're gonna see different settings so it's just a, a matter of navigate here and play a little bit and see what's happened colors well many other things well we are done here so done let's save here let's call mauric conference 2021 save and metabase will ask if we would like to put that in a dashboard basically metabase has two levels of information uh, it's question they call question so we were creating a question and they have dashboard it's in dashboard it's a collection of questions and we can share a dashboard and we can share a question too so um i'm okay I, i'm going to add to a new dashboard i will create a new one and here we are so 
as you can see, it's super easy. It's just click, drag and drop and create exactly the way we want and save and ready. We, we have a dashboard where we can share with someone. For example, we can click here and share a public link like many other kind of solutions. Then we can send the link and this one embed it's a great a great one special for agencies because they can create a panel for their clients and they can access uh, a great dashboard with this uh, metabase embedded so you can create just one metabase installation connected to all your multi clients and pass pass parameters i've I've tried once with a client like this, this, this parameter here, ever client, uh, has their, their, their parameter here. And then I created a way how our panel, our administration area can change this according to each client. So yeah, it's great. And I will keep it. I will keep it. I will keep it published just to share to you how it works uh, let's close here let's open uh, anonymous anonymous so let's see and we can navigate navigate through the data here you know it's it's great you can send the link to your clients and yeah it's, it's awesome now let's navigate a little bit more in the mark tables there is one visualization that i really like it's the table leads here this visualization i like so much it's when because metabase here let me add this column id here uh settings column ig here let me add this column metabase has a view where we can see many relations among the lead yeah here so when we click here so this page i like it uh, because we are it's like a uh, detail page like Mauric, when Mauric, you know, like the contact detail page. So we can see this lead has, has joined 25 campaigns. Uh, so he's inside two companies and he has many email stats and many other information about this lead all information connected to the lead so i like this this page so you can see you can navigate through the data another interesting thing about mauric here about mauric table it's the forms because i don't know if you know when we create a new form mauric creates a new table so we have one table for ever form we created in Mauric. So that's good because if you decide like to generate a dashboard, just about one, one form, it's great. But let's suppose you'd like to create a dashboard with all form results. So we have this table. I like so much this table. It's one of my favorite tables it's form submissions because form submissions we can see the date submitted when the lead uh, sent the form the form ID all the forms the ID the form uh, and the lead ID that's fantastic because we can see the lead ID here we can see the referrer when this lead filled out the form how what was the last page and the tracking id so this form visualization i really like 
Now let's create a new chart. Let's go back to all the tables and let's create a, a view with getting all the contacts in a, in a period, for example, here leads, here leads. So let's create this one. It's you, you're going to see how easy it is just date identify by day and let's change this visualization to this one that I like trend. So as you can see, we have two new contacts today and yesterday we had two contacts too because we didn't have change here. So we can compare with in our table just to validate this information. As you can see, we had two yesterday. So, and we have two, to, we had two today so far. So let's change visualization for, for training again and save it. If, and let's add this new one. Yes, please. Mauro Kipiar here. So we have our dashboard starting and our dashboard is getting beautiful. It's getting it's it's getting it's getting pretty. Save. And let's add another question here. Ask a question. A uh, simple question. Here it's other other way how to do because basically metabase you can create the same question with more interaction with their beautiful interface or just native native SQL. So let's create using their interface. So I will create a new one, leads. And now will we we will get the same query but now the month date identify month right and let's compare let's create a trend just to oh this is a good one then Yes, please. And let's put this one here. Yeah, we have two information so far. We have three charts and we can still, you know, adding new charts here and yeah, it's fantastic. Well, now I'm, I will show some advanced reports that we had created. So let's go back to the home and nom, nom, nom. I think there is one here, this one. This is a great one. So this we created this dashboard this question so we can see the email id we can see the email subject because in Mauriki email list we can see just the internal name so we can see the subject <coughs> we can see these both columns sent and read we can see uh, on Mauric but here this column we need to click and open open the email to check this column and replies we can't see in any other place in Mauric so but Mauric saves that information so and we can see the user who who created what's great uh, if you 
work in a company with many other Mautiki users and if it's published or not what is great too because you know when the email is published in some situations can be danger can be dangerous so uh, and see how great we have conditional here we can you know highlight the bigger numbers and you know that creates beautiful views so let's suppose like this chart we would like to to create this chart in another metabase in, in another model or in another platform let's open the editor this one in special is not we didn't use the metabase builder we had to create uh, a native sql but let's copy this one create copy this one and let's create a new one just you can see how easy it's a native query and let's take portic copy and paste and play but here in portic we we don't use replies you know because you know you have to 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 configure your you have to adjust your modic to uh, monitor inbox so but we don't use but we have a couple of clients who who use so yeah but here you can see how great it's it's how easy it is to copy and paste from one to another and now i'm going to show one dashboard i was i was creating for this this, this presentation is this one dashboard mauric conference no let's yeah it is one mauric dashboard mauric conference well this one we have a couple of advanced i think it's not so advanced but it's still as you can see we have filters here we metabase call variables so we can change the variables the variables here and we'll change all the charts below so and all this data here we can set we can set previously so in this way all this data comes uh, uh, by default so this dashboard is for forms i'm here i'm i'm getting all these forms the form id 95 96 97 98 and 3 i'm getting all these five forms from april 1st to april 30th and it's showing here the current period versus the the previous period one year before so we got two contacts in all these five forms during april 1st to april 30 and we can check here this column the purple column it's the previous because here this this chart is getting the the green one is this year and the purple one it's the last year so i'm going to change here to this year april 1st to april 30th to april 30th here so we got seven here like here seven compare in compares with two less year and here a kind of a uh, growth rate you know so you can still change this visualization here is still so uh, boring this first one but you can still change it uh, but it's just for it's just it's just a demonstration to show this interaction between the variables and the charts and here it's the part i like most because for example we got seven here from five forms we can add form remove form from here i uh, based on id and i like this part because metabase uh brings the form name you know that's great 
and for example we got seven here seven in april and we can check one two three four five six seven and we got all of them from form 95 so you can check what are the seven contacts who fill out our forms so we can you can check here and you, you could check the referrer what was the page they they convert so this is just a sample what you can do pulling data from from Mauric, you know it's just uh, a sample i think is that thank you for watching as i i promise if you if you share if you access our this url uh, mkt.portic.com slash sql sorry i didn't put a qr code in this one so it's just and if you access mkt.portic.com slash sql so we created a, a landing page in mauric so you can download you can fill out the form here with your email your best email and we will send an email with two links one link it's this presentation and another one it's a, a a text file with with three sql thank you for watching thank you for joining Mauric community and if you have any 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 question please i will be live during the event if you in case you are watching after the Mauric conference just uh, access our site partic.com and send an 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 message and and send a message in our chat okay thank you bye hey rodrigo Hey. I had a, uh, you know, we, we, we dove right into that presentation and I didn't have a chance to, uh, to uh, introduce, can, can you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you are and yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, sure. Well, I started my career as a developer. So then I was trying to create a marketing automation platform in 2014. Then when I, I met uh, Mauric. So Mauric was so so advanced in, 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 in comparison with our project. So I decided to start invest my time and my resources in, in Mauric. So we started Porch in 2015. And since then, we are helping companies in all kinds of companies how to use Mauric, how to install, how to maintain. And yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 that's not it, actually. There's a, you know, uh, I'm, I'm thrilled to say that Brazil is one of the largest uh, non-English communities in the world. Uh, what are you up to? 7,000, 8,000 members now? What, what's what's the current number? Yeah, yeah, around that. I I think we are getting close uh, of 9,000. And I think Brazil, it's digital marketing, you know. I think there's mentality where... A uh, small entrepreneur can create a business. I think that it's so huge here, and and I think that's one of the reasons Mark it's it's huge here because you know Mark can can provide the right tools you know for a small business start you know doing marketing. So th that's great. All right, I'm gonna dive into a question from our audience. Uh, Kishav uh, asked uh, if it's possible. How how would you compare MetaBase with other open source reporting tools like Redash and you know how, how does that relate to Mautic? Awesome, great. Well, I don't know exactly the small difference you know between both. We have been using MetaBase I think for the last two two years, and what I like you know uh, in in MetaBase it's because it's so intuitive so. And my goal when I install a MetaBase for a client, it's to share to their marketing department. So in a way where their marketing department, they can use. And usually we know we are open source enthusiasts and usually open source tools, they are more a kind of dev style, 
and 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 metabase i think is different in that because you know uh, usually all marketing departments have been helping they they understand they they you know they they can create their own filters i think that is the main difference uh, i i i can't say exactly you know the small features in a comparison because i, I don't know too much about the others Sure, sure. You know, business intelligence stuff is uh, such a broad topic with so many different, uh, you know, people implementing it, both on the open source side as well as on the commercial side. Um, yeah. You know, specifically for Metabase, uh, you know, we have to go about self-hosting it to use the open source version of it. Uh, do you yeah. know what the minimum minimum requirements are for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it will depend uh, where or in what what kind of infrastructure you're gonna use? If you you're gonna use, for example, Docker or not? Uh, let's suppose you have a small infrastructure, a small model. You can start with uh, uh, a 500 uh, megabytes uh, uh, VPS, like a, a five dollar VPS in a digital ocean, for example. Uh, but if you are thinking to use maybe Docker, maybe it's better start with uh, one giga RAM. Uh, I think it's. I I'm not aware about the price, but I think it's around ten dollars. I think a uh, uh, ten dollar uh, 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 VPS. It's it's okay. Right. I I do think you're, that's correct for digital ocean droplets. It's uh, ten yeah. US dollars a month for for that type of functionality. And uh, what about disk space requirements on disk space? <laughs> It it doesn't need much, you know, because it's a a lightweight uh, uh, platform. So I I'm not aware about the minimal they offer, but the minimal it's it's probably it's, it's okay to to host uh, MetaBase because the point is your host, you know, disk space. I think it usually it will, uh, but for for MetaBase, for example, we have. Uh, more than 10 uh, metabase installation in a two giga VPS in a standard, you know, digital ocean, two giga. So I think, it, yeah. All right. Thanks. You know, for for those of us that dig into the back end and open up the database in MySQL or via uh, any one of these business intelligence stuff, all of a sudden you, you are faced with dozens and dozens of tables. And yeah. when you just did that, also you opened it up in Metabase and you just went through. But you knew exactly what tables to go to. Uh, can you briefly? Well, actually, maybe not so briefly. Can you take uh, take some time to explain what are the most valuable tables that we need to address? You know, that you need to work with with Nautic and Metabase. Okay. Uh, oh, that's it's a, a great question because you know, uh, Luis, my partner, he he's paying. A lot of time, like creating those uh, diagrams, you know, connecting the tables and trying to understand. And he created uh, all relational diagram to understand all modic tables. And of course, I'm not going in that kind of specific te a technical aspect right now. I'm just uh, I will share my favorite tables, and and I think. Uh, leads the table leads it's for sure where we have all leads information about their custom fields about their their data it's a great table and i like too much the the form submission table because for submissions we can gather all form submissions in one place and we can see the referrer what is a great information because many people who decide to use Mark ask, oh, Rodrigo, how can I see our uh, main sources like Google, Facebook, how we can see that? And form submission, it's a great source of that. And I could say that the, the third table, I think it's uh, page hits because page hits, we, we have all... Uh, page hits and also the email hits. So uh, Mark saves the email open and reads and this information in this 
table page hits. So page hits, it's a collection of almost all, all modic stats. Uh, of course, you still have to run some kind of kind of group or some kind of you know uh, uh, SQL statements just to you know organize the data, but all the data is there. Uh, in still some fields you have some JSON format, you know, you have to work a little bit around that, but it's still, uh, it's like what I like to say. I think Mauric uh, attribution, it's just save the data and we have to have some other tool to bring the data and organize in a beautiful dashboard. So I could say leads, form submission, and page hits for me, it's I think are the most valuable uh, table. If you, you know everything is burning, and I have to pick <laughs> these three tables, I would pick you know these three tables. Yeah, that's all it. right. Well, I, I'm gonna hope that nothing is burning there, but that makes oh, me I think so. now. <laughs> yeah, I hope too. <laughs> so, so when I do my my implementation, what what is potentially the uh, the most problematic tables? that I might encounter when I have a large contact list? Are there any tables that are like, whoa, those, those, those become, you know, consumption heavy, not easy to do? Yeah, yeah, that it's a great question too, because, you know, Mauric likes to uh, save everything, you know, uh, it's, it's a hungry uh, platform, saves everything. So in a long term, when you start using like Mauric for four years, five years, you know, you have a point in there because we have one table email stats, for example, uh, it collects many data, many information. So uh, it's, it's email stats, usually it's a problem mainly like if you use just email marketing or for example, in, uh, in case you are a, a big portal, you have a big audience, and you are using more college tracking. So you probably, you will have problem with page hits, page hits as well, because, you know, ever access, ever anonymous uh, visitor is still saving in many tables in your Maurix. For, and we have a customer, he has 1 million visitors monthly. It's a big CRM here in Brazil. And we decided we will not use the legit tracking for now, because you know it's consuming a lot and they they were paying a lot in their AWS bill. So uh, I would say email stats for who has a, a big contact list and page hits and many other tables as well, like uh, uh, leads that to uh, when you have a big audience and you're tracking, you know, it's consuming a lot uh, uh, your tracking. So I could say email stat and page hits, they are, uh, you know, the most used tables when you have uh, a big uh, audience. Okay, thank you. Um, Martin has a great question here. Um, how does Metabase plug into other systems like social media, uh, Matamo for uh, analytics? Uh, how does it do on that? Well, that's a great question. That there are a lot of uh, conversation around that in the Metabase forums. And basically they created uh, the last year, a connection to Google Analytics. I didn't test yet. It's a new one where you can pull uh, information from your Google Analytics. But of course it is not like so easy, like, you know, other solution that's ready. So I think the, the advantage to use uh, metabase it's when you have for example you have an open source crm and you'd like for example to create a single view with your journey with your your market like starting this journey then getting information pulling from your crm and many other, other data source i think it, metabase is, is starting this this movement to to plug other data source, but definitely if your project that it's a, 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 an important point, I think it definitely probably you have to use another solution. Yeah. Okay. You know, um, uh, 
uh, alerts are very important for these types of systems. And Kashav was asking, uh, what are your thoughts on the alerting aspects of, uh, of Metabase? You know, for example, uh, what happens if you have, uh, you know, alerts for failed webhooks in campaigns, for example? Yeah, webhooks is it's a great one because you know it's a, a because webhooks when stopped you have to access the webhook history in Mauric and see and Mauric I don't know who know but when webhook stopped to working like after one hundred connection after one hundred co failed connection this webhook will simply stop you know for example if you create a webhook and the endpoint is not working for any reason. So then after Mauric tries 100 times, access that will stop. If you don't access this webhook page in Mauric webhook history, so we will, you know, we, you have to access. So these alerts on Metabase, it's great because they call uh, subscription. They call subscription. It's when you create a subscription to be notified they can uh, they can they even have an option to send this information to your slack channel so it puts up a, a, a an alert in your slack and you can you can set uh email alert to when some information like got in such number or or crossed some number so you create the rule and you create this this option, this option, it's great. They were calling pools uh, if someone is using an old Metabase version, but now they call dashboard subscription. And and basically it's the same. It's when you get an alert, like when some data is, is changing, you know, uh, uh, in a different condition when you create your condition. All right. Um, another question for you. We were talking about minimum requirements for Metabase. And I know that during your presentation, you skipped the, the setup of Metabase itself. Uh, for somebody that's new to Metabase, but it's experienced with these types of systems and experience with Mautic, how long would you think it actually takes to set up? I mean, once your server is running and you do the base installation, are you looking at uh, half an hour, a couple of hours to get that connection all going and get your first mm -hmm. reports running? Mm -hmm. That's a good question, you know, because uh, we know we, we we have to use something easy to install and is to use, you know, and and using Docker, uh, I think probably half hour you can, you know, uh, install everything to use Metabase, and it's still like we were talking before, uh, Metabase it's so easy to connect to MySQL. And you were talking about how hard it was to connect uh, Power BI to Mauric. And I had the same problem with when I tried to connect a Google that Google that studio to Mauric MySQL too. And with Metabase was was e super easy to connect, you know, because ever everything is in your own infrastructure, so it becomes easier. Then I could say using Docker, I think maybe half hour, it's it's done, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Is there is there anything else that you would like to add as we wrap up here? Any other thoughts? I think it, I think it, that's it's, I think it for everybody who is selling Mautic or, or everybody who is agency or Mautic uh, service provider, I think that it's, for sure, the biggest advantage to use Mauric is to show to your client, show to your audience how you have access to all data in case, you, you, you know, that it's the, the biggest difference when you use Mauric instead of a marketing, Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And I had a I had chance to migrate clients from Marketo to Mauric and Salesforce Marketing Cloud to Mauric. And I'm not saying like, you know, uh, from HubSpot, HubSpot or from a small business a solution. I'm saying from big tech companies, big companies, because they want to, ac to access their own data. And also the, the client, they understand that, you know, and, and mainly when we are living in GDPR 
a, a limitation here in Brazil. We have many regulation about that too, about uh, about privacy. So that creates uh, a new opportunity for our market our market community. So I think I think is that. Then I would like one day, for example, I could uh, uh, turn down all market reports and create just one one area with all reports in there. Uh, but my message, my final message is that I think believe in Mauri can believe how Mauri can, you know, uh, 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 fit in this new world when data is the new, the new money. All right. Well, thank you again very, very much for joining us. Thank you for that great presentation. I hope that your friends and your family stay safe in Brazil. And uh, we will see you thank another you for... time there. I'll see you on Slack and I'll see you on the forum. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.